Hi, I'm Amberly. Welcome back to Real Florida Magazine. Welcome back. Still here at the Washington County Ag Center, right now with Noel Blanchet. Um, Noel is a, a longtime beekeeper. We're making an effort to talk to people who are new in the industry, uh, people who have a lot of years and experience in the industry, as well as some of the government officials and some of the teachers, um, an opportunity to sort of see beekeeping from all sides. Noel, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us You're today. Welcome. Where do you live? I live on the Riverview. That Riverview is a city of seven miles south of the Tampa. Ah, okay. It seems like Tampa seem, uh, may be the central or middle or um, the, the epicenter of all the beekeeping within Florida. Is that, would that be That's accurate? a big, big, yeah, that, yeah, it's almost there, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever been up here in the Panhandle before? No, that's the first time. Okay. Um, I think that the locals, the Central Panhandle Beekeepers Association, are very excited about having the convention here this year. Oh, I'm sure it's Yeah, been um, it's been here before, but it's been a long time ago that it happened. So thank you for visiting us here. You're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. Uh, hopefully glad. you'll I'm have glad. a little bit of time to look around and not just be stuck here at the Ag Center the whole time. Yeah, certainly look a bit around, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot to offer here, so oh, yeah. maybe sometime you come back and uh, we'll, will. we'll show you around a little bit. I will, yeah. Beekeeping is a very interesting avocation. Uh, it's also a very lucrative business if done properly. It's also uh, uh, responsible for up to a third of our food source yes. because of pollination. Yes. Um, talk a little bit about your beekeeping operation and, and what you do and where you do it. I'm from Canada and I moved in Florida in 1970. And I worked bees until that time. And uh, I raised, uh, when I started to raise queen bee, I have to care about 1,200 nook that is queen bee, and I have 350 hive. And we do production, and I was do package bees also, while I was shipping my queen in Canada, and package bees in Canada also. Until 85, when we got the mic, they cut the custom, and we just stay, I stay in Florida. And I take care of 350 hive. And wow, how did you get into beekeeping? My wife's sister, she, her husband was a beekeeper in Canada. And when I met her and I started to work with him and I worked in Can the bees in Canada for a few years. And I moved in Florida and I started the bees business again. So you were going after a woman and you ended up in beekeeping? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what do you find most rewarding about uh, being in beekeeping? The big event, you know about the bees, we need the bees for pollinization and they produce the honey and the honey is a good healthy food and the bee, they pick up the bee pollen also, the bee pollen is very healthy for people also, people they should eat more bee pollen because it's very, very healthy. Me and my wife, we eat honey and bee pollen for year and year and year and we are in good shape, we still very, very, we don't go to the, doc we see the doctor once a year, we're in very, very good health. Wow, yeah, and I've heard a lot about bee pollen, yeah, yeah. but obviously you're a living testament to the, the oh, benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what's one of the biggest challenges about keeping bees? Man, you, you know it's healthy and it's a good hub. People that got from a hobby, you, you learn the nature quite a bit about what, what God made the bees for some good reason. The honey, it's a good healthy food and yeah, that's a good challenge for that, yeah. We see pictures in the news, and I keep mentioning this with everybody that I'm interviewing, um, especially in Asia, of women on ladders hand-pollinating fruits because their bees are having problems. Um, are we experiencing some of that here in Florida? We experience that. We have quite a bit in Florida, yes, but I don't know too much about that. So far for myself, I never have no problem with that yet. Maybe we still have problem. That's a big problem. We have found out we need more help I get from the government, try to help find out what's the cause of that. The University of Florida is very aggressive, and there are a lot of sharp people there. Yeah. They do a lot as far as research. Do you rely on some of what they provide uh, in your everyday uh, efforts for beekeeping? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, What geographic area do you cover with your pollinating service? I do about uh, thirty to forty miles around my house, around Tampa area. I don't move okay. my bees like some big big bird; they won't be so far away. And I just stay around the house about 50 miles. Okay. 
Um, interestingly, for instance, the almond in industry won't issue insurance unless you have a certain number of colonies uh, in your groves. Uh, so obviously, um, everybody recognizes the value and the importance of bees. Oh yeah, for the almond, for the almond, if you don't have no bees, you don't have no almond, no food at all. That you need the bees for that. And for the cranberry, the same thing. The cranberry, no bees, no pollinization at all. I mean, the, the thing is, on pollinization from the cranberry, the cranberry, uh, and the uh, almond, the bee, they don't make no honey. We had to feed the bees on that. That's not good for us, I mean, because they pay us, they pay for that. I mean, we don't make no honey. Sometimes we had to feed the bees on, on the cranberry. Interesting. Yes. Well, thank you for visiting uh, Northwest Florida. Thanks for being here for yeah. this. I hope that you enjoy your stay, and I hope you get a chance to, to look sure, around a I'm, little bit. I'm sure I will. What's the, uh, what's the most exciting part of being at the state convention for beekeepers? They'll learn something else from somebody else, the experience from somebody else. That because, seems to be everybody's answer. Yeah, each HB, beekeeper, they got their own way, and uh, we learn from each other. Everything with the same in the end, man, we just, everybody got their own idea. Sure. Oh. Now, do you trade ideas all through the year, or do you wait for the convention to talk to No, no, to I will trade all the year. We got the, uh, in Tampa, we got a uh, meeting once a month, and we just talk with everybody else, and we take from, ED from another guy, and that's what we do. I give my idea to somebody, and that's why we work. Typically, do you find that beekeepers are willing to share their ideas? And oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So it's not like a, a competitive situation. No, 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 no. Everybody, they're hiding trade every, secrets. No, everybody share the idea. Well, again, thank you for taking the time. You're welcome. And it's my enjoy pleasure. your stay here, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. For sure, I will. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Here with uh, Noel Blanchet right now, uh, here at the uh, 93rd annual Florida Beekeepers Convention here in Chipley, Florida, at the Washington County Ag Center, hosted this year by the Central Panhandle Beekeepers Association. We're going to have some fun. We're going to hang around the rest of the uh, weekend uh, and talk to a bunch of folks, uh, hopefully just like Noel, and uh, and learn a little bit more about bees. We'll be right back.